Welcome back, folks. My name is Patrick, your host as usual with Light Source Engraving. And if it's your first time stopping by, thank you so much for being here. And returning viewers, I greatly appreciate you as usual. Let's just get right into this fun video. Let's say you're all the way over here and you need to frame with your fiber laser. You have your keyboard and mouse, they're wired in, you can't get to get them over there to use it or you have a wireless keyboard and mouse and it's kind of a pain in the butt to move them over there well let's do something fun and make something fun that is also usable let's make our own little light burn keyboard that we can use for framing to start the laser to make our graphic larger or smaller then we can also use it to nudge up down left right then our escape key is what we use to get out of framing mode so we can go to the start laser mode so i'm going to show you with uv laser the settings i use to engrave the keys give you a template for engraving the keys i'm also going to show you the software that we need to configure to run this little keyboard and i'm going to give you that configuration file in a download as well and then I'll show you an example of it actually working. So that's it. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so when you get your keyboard, it might have black keys on it or some other color keys. They do include a USB cable. And they also include the key puller. So all we'll need to do is pop this down on the existing keys and pull them off. Or you can leave the black keys on or whichever keys that you order. So once you get all these keys popped off, Then all we'll have to do is install the white keys or whatever plain keys your keyboard comes with. And that's as simple as popping them down on top of the keyboard. Now, if you'll notice, some of them do have little dots or they all have little dots. And then there's one that has a bar. So they all have the little indexing dots on them. So I'm just going to put them all towards the bottom. All right, now we have our keys installed, we can go ahead and prepare to mark the keys. I'm gonna turn my UV laser on and yeah, get this centered up approximately where we need it. Okay, we're over here in Lightburn. I have this file prepared for you. It's a layout of the keyboard, the nine key keyboard and I'm going to make the link available in the description so you can download it and have it to use. First thing I want to do is frame these and I'm going to have it set to frame individually and just make sure that they're all lined up and looking uh, where, looking like they're going to mark where they should. So let's go ahead and take a look at the frame. And everything is looking pretty darn good. Just needs shifted to the right slightly. And I think the text for larger and smaller needs to decrease another millimeter and it will line up perfect. So let's decrease this to 12, see, this 12, oops, 11. The larger was kind of okay, but I'm gonna lower it again, lower it anyway. 
We'll make this one 10. And that one's already at 10. All right, let's frame it again and see if this looks better. The smaller is not drifting off of the edge. The larger looks good. The escape is not quite centered, so we just need to shift this back to the right, just a hair. And at that point, everything's lining up pretty well. So I think we'll just go with it there. Okay, the settings I'm gonna mark with, with the five watt UV is a speed of 400, frequency of 20, Q pulse of one. The line interval is 0 0.042, with, uh, we're just gonna run a cross hatch on this and get a gray mark. So we'll run all of these at once, get a nice gray mark, and then we'll proceed to our next step. So let me transfer you to the laser camera and we'll get this started. And just like that, we are finished and we need to download the software for this keyboard. All right, we're going to go to cooltron.com, K-O-O-L-E-R-T-R-O-N.com. And you want to get to the manual and software download section. After that, we're going to download the MYKB for Windows. Once we have our zip, loaded, zip file downloaded, we extract it. I just extracted it to the desktop. At that point, just run the setup might get a warning around anyway. Want it in English. And then we're going to run it. Set your language as English. Click Save. And then it will bring up the controls and configuration menu for your keyboard. Okay, we have our keyboard selected. So the first thing we need to do, this one is already configured but what we want to do is highlight the button on the keyboard that we want to assign a command to and then click on the keyboard to assign it so once it's highlighted so if I wanted to change that to page down I could do that or I can change it back to page up middle key we have is escape and then for light burn to recognize the start commands, we have to have two macros set up, M0 and M1. M0 is our start command, M1 is our framing command. So if we head over to our macros, we go to M0. For light burn to start, it is Alt S. So what we need to do is tell the software when we press that button that we need to hold down the Alt key, tap the S key, then release the Alt key. And we do that simply by adding new actions. Here is where we delete actions. So I'm going to recreate this on M2, even though we're not using it. So down here at the corner, add an action. We want to hold the button down and we want to hold down our Alt key. We don't need to add another action here. So let me, that's just a mistake, it's no big deal. Then we want to tap the S key Then we want to release, which is up, the left alt key. And then we want to save it. And that's all we have to do to add a macro. So there's our alt S, and here's our alt R, which is for framing, alt R. And I exported this file, this configuration file, and I will also make that available in the download that will be in the description. 
Also, I forgot to mention that you need to assign your macro keys. So where I wanted frame and start to be, I assigned the M1 and M0 macros. You just click the button and then select your macro from the tab down below. And that's it. Now we have our frame. You can see it framing now. The escape it stops framing. Frame. Escape. And then to start it, we just hit start. Now with the USB extension and you are far away from your keyboard or you don't have a wireless mouse or you just want a cool little keyboard to use, you now have your light burn keyboard. Now, let's say we are framing and we want to increase the size. We now have our page up to make it larger, page down to make it smaller, and then our arrows we can use for nudging just like we normally would. And that's it. And then we can stop our frame and then hit start again. Oops. They hit escape. Now stop our frame and hit start again. And now let's do this again. So it's frame. Make it even bigger. Hit escape and start. And it's just that simple. Have a handy little keyboard. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's demo. And I want you to see that I screwed up the framing. I had it a little bit too high and didn't notice. I was standing at an awkward angle behind the camera, trying to make sure that everything was in focus on the camera. But this one was just a little bit too high, but that's okay, it still works. It doesn't look that terrible. All the engraving is still on the keys, although it's not perfectly centered, but oh well, that's what happens. Hey. If somebody wants to buy this, uh, just let me know in the comments. I'm sure we can work out a deal. But anyway, you've got the configuration file for the keyboard in the comments, in the description. And you also have the keyboard layout, the template in the description. If uh, you want to support the channel, you can click the link to buy the Coolertron pad that's in the description. That's an affiliate link. I would greatly appreciate that. If you don't want to make one of these yourselves, but you'd still like to have one for we're running light burn with your Galvo laser, let me know. Might be able to work something out. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting the channel. It allows me to buy testing supplies like these little keyboards. Uh, for this fun idea I had and that is it for today if you want to support me via the patreon please by all means click the link in the description also have channel memberships that are cheap if you want to support me in that uh, method or just like and subscribe that supports me as well but that's it for today I greatly appreciate you being here thank you so much have a great day